Hi, I'm Tom. In this lesson I'm going to guide you through the first steps towards learning the guitar. We won't be playing anything in this lesson, instead we'll be making sure that our posture and playing position is correct. This probably sounds really boring, and really it is, but it's such an important step that a lot of guitar players ignore when starting out. It's easy to develop a lot of bad habits that could eventually lead to muscle strain or prevent you from progressing further on the guitar. Firstly, we need to know how to sit with the instrument. We have a couple of options here, which are usually dictated by what kind of guitar you're playing. If you're an acoustic guitar player, it's common to sit with a guitar straight on your right lap or left for south pause, making sure that the front of the instrument is pointing away from you. A lot of students tend to sit like this when beginning the guitar, which not only makes it harder to play, but can also cause injury to your back and hands. Keeping a straight back at all times is essential. I've developed some really bad habits in this area and I suffer from back pain as a result. Before you start playing your instrument, think about your posture first. If you get used to sitting properly, you'll find you can play for longer periods without getting tired. If you're an electric guitar player, you might also like to sit like this, with the electric guitar resting on your lap. In this case, you need to be really strict with your posture. As electric guitars are smaller than acoustics, it's even easier for them to slide forwards, which would lead to strain on the fretting hand. I have really small hands, which could easily become a hindrance when learning the guitar, so I like to bring the guitar closer to me than most players. When I'm playing the acoustic, I often use a footrest to elevate it slightly. These footrests can be adjusted in height and are normally used by classical guitar players. They can be found in most music stores and they're relatively cheap. I also use my footrest when playing on my electric guitar, but instead of resting my right foot on it, I use it on my left foot. From here, I'd rest my guitar on my left leg, which makes it point up at a 45 degree angle, rather than staying parallel with the floor. This is the same playing position classical guitar players use, and while it may seem a little weird at first, I found it has many benefits. The new angle the guitar is placed in makes it a lot easier for me to access the whole of the fretboard. My fingers usually struggle reaching fret 15, but in this position I have no problem going all the way up the neck. Keeping a good posture in this position is extremely important. If you find yourself slouching over the guitar for extended periods, it can cause you serious muscle pain and put you out of action for a while. Some players like to stand up when practicing. This is made possible by the use of a strap. Personally, I don't like to stand up when practicing. This is because I practice for several hours a day, and my feet will get tired, my electric guitar is heavy and I'm fairly weak, and I'm lazy. However, I can see a lot of benefits to practicing standing up, especially for electric guitar players who plan to play live. If you're planning on playing standing up at a gig or performance, then it's really important to practice in the position you'll be playing on the night. I always wear a strap, even when I'm sitting down, and I adjust it so that when I stand up, the guitar stays at the same height. This way I can ensure that I'll be consistent with my playing. It's pointless practicing all your best licks with the guitar under your chin if you plan on playing live with it round your knees. Now we've looked at the correct playing position, be it standing or sitting, we can look at hand placement. Your fretting hand position is the most important and it's another area that can pick up some bad habits early on. When we press on the strings, we should be using the pads of our fingertips. We don't want to be playing with the flats of our fingers, because this prevents the strings below from ringing clearly. The best way to execute this is by placing your thumb behind the neck in the middle. Your guitar might have a strip of wood down the centre, but if not, just imagine there's one there and place your thumb on it. The neck of the guitar and your thumb should create a T-shape, which allows your fingers to curl around the neck. This should leave a lot of clearance for the higher strings and prevent unwanted muting. There will be cases where you want to move your thumb on the top of the neck, but for the time being let's practice with your thumb in the back. I've covered this a bit more in another video called Fretting Hand Basics, so watch out for that. Picking hand technique is a much debated topic, so I'm only going to present my preferences in regards to holding a pick. Many guitar players use completely different picking styles to me, and a lot of them are much better than I am. But I believe the picking style I use is comfortable and it provides a good starting point for beginners. First of all, we need to empty our picking hand and hold it out in front of us, imagining you're going to shake hands with someone with your fingers connected and pointing straight. Next, we need to curl our first finger towards our body. 
From here, we place the pick on our curled finger, making sure the point is facing at a 90 degree angle from our straightened fingers. Then we bring our thumb down to grip the top of the pick. Make sure that you're gripping with the end of the thumb. We want it to look like this, not like this. From here, we can relax the hand. Our other fingers do not need to be stiff, and most importantly, we don't want to be gripping the pick too hard. A lot of students I teach feel the need to squeeze the pick until their fingers turn white, but that will result in finger pain and stiff playing. Only a small amount of pressure is required to keep the pick steady in your hand. Most of the time when I play, I'm barely squeezing at all. This is the same for when I'm playing slow, fast or strumming. A tip that I found useful when first learning was to use my little finger as an anchor or pivot point on the body of the guitar. You'll notice a lot of guitar players doing this in some way or another, and it makes picking feel more stable and comfortable. Just touching the body of the guitar prevents my hand from moving out of control. Without this anchor, my picking becomes very sloppy, so try it in your playing and see what you think. Like the fretting hand, the picking hand has been covered in more detail in the video Picking Hand Basics, so check that out if you're interested. Thanks for watching, I hope this has been useful for anyone starting out. Feel free to comment or message me with any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Please subscribe if you found this useful as I'm planning a series of videos going from beginning guitar right up to advanced techniques and theory. Hopefully see you soon.